My name is Sandra D, and this is Ready Action, a show about acting for income and entertainment. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about how to become an actor. Today we will cover the third part of a 10-part series covering the steps that you must take in order to move along in your acting career. Today's episode is about customer analysis and should also be included on your career or business plan. I can hear you now. You're saying, what? Actors have customers? <laughs> yes, the truth is, we do have customers. So the first thing that I want to cover is defining the word customer. A customer is a person or an organization that buys goods or services from a business. And aren't you a business? Of course you are. You are a business because you're being paid for the work that you do from another person or an organization. There are three words that I want you to remember and write down regarding customer analysis. And those words are gaining, retaining, and maintaining. Okay? So, get your pen and paper and let's talk about it. So let's first talk about gaining. As an actor, your job is to find all potential customers. An actor's customers could be talent agents, talent agencies, casting agents, casting agencies, directors, production companies, producers, and even the businesses that want to hire you directly without the middleman. To gain customers, you must do your homework. That includes looking in the phone book, the internet, using referrals by other actors, going to the newspapers, and using the referrals from training schools or other schools to find your customers. You will need to determine who your potential customers are, where they are, what they do, and what they're looking for in a service from you as the actor. There are normally multiple customers of these types within a city or an area. So you need to determine exactly what they have to offer you in your business. Once you gain knowledge of who your potential customers are, make a list of them. You will need to send them your contact information, your pictures, your resumes, so that they can keep you in mind when there's a need for your type during casting opportunities. And make sure you keep them updated as to changes to your pictures and resumes. Now, we just talked about gaining customers. Now let's talk about retaining customers. As with any other business, you'll need to build good working relationships with your customers to retain them. This is all about how you are going to make those casting directors believe in you and call you often for work because they trust you and they know that you're going to do a great job. Now this is how you're going to retain them. Performance. This is how well you, the product, functions. And that is why it's important for you to study and go to school and show that you have the skills to make their product shine. Then there's conformance. This is how well you, the product, conforms to the specifications or the standards set for the job. Once hired, are you complying with all of the rules that are set forth for the production? Or are you stirring up trouble on the set? So think about that. You need to conform. Then we have features. How many secondary characteristics do you, the product, have to enhance your basic function of acting? What do you have to go along with that great acting, those abilities to enhance your acting? Perhaps it's as simple as um, your personality, or you have a special skill that will enhance the production. Maybe it's time to show that, and those great personalities can be shown during the audition. And at next we have aesthetics, and that's how attractive you are, the product. 
We're going to have an entire section on this subject later, but we're talking about your skin, your hair, your makeup, your body, your fingernails, your clothing. All of these aesthetics need to be attractive because those are the things that will sell you to the potential customer. Next we have reliability and durability. How well does the product, you, maintain its performance during a certain given period? Are you always on time? Do you remember your lines? Are you disciplined during auditions, rehearsals, and filming? Are you at the top of your game when you're feeling sick or tired or stressed? Then we have serviceability and friendliness. How easy is the product, you, how easy it for, is it for you to maintain? How easy are you to work with? Do you get along well with others? Can the director direct you? You'd be surprised how many actors just cannot be directed because they know too much for their own good. And then there's customizing ability. How easy is it for the director, the agents and managers to modify something about you for the betterment of the production? These are the attributes of a good quality product and those attributes will help you to retain. Finally, let's talk about maintaining. So far, you've learned how to gain customers and how to retain customers. Now, you'll learn how to maintain your customers. To maintain good working relationships with your customers, you should send them um, your picture, your resume, and a short note telling them that you're still available I'm still out here every three to six months and just check in with them. Check their websites for updates um, and their posts on their Twitter and their Facebook and like their items. That keeps you in their face. You have to constantly build relationships. So don't forget that when you do customer analysis, you are identifying who your customers are. You're finding ways to gain them, retain them, and maintain them to enhance your acting career. This has been your acting information for this week. Come back next week when you'll learn more about competition in the acting business. This is Sandra D. and this is Ready Action.